Section 1. Listening. There are two parts in this section. You will hear each part twice. After each part, you will have a 10 second pause to do. Part 1. Questions from 1 to 6. You will hear a radio interview with a man called Robin Marshall, who has written a book about Argentina. Choose the correct answer from A, B or C for each of the following questions. Today I'm with Robin Marshall, who has just written a book about travelling in Argentina. Robin, tell us about yourself. Well, I've travelled to South America a lot for my work, and I know Argentina well now. So well that I could be a tour guide if I wanted. I speak fluent Spanish, so I don't need anyone to translate for me. My job involves travelling around selling products for my company. I meet a lot of people doing that, and I wanted to share those experiences with others, so I decided to try writing. So, tell us about your last visit to Argentina. What was the weather like? Well, it was winter there, so mornings were cold, but I'd expected that. Every day they said on the radio that it would be sunny later, and sure enough it was. I wanted to go sightseeing, and the weather was perfect for that. And where did you go when you went sightseeing? Well, I went to a wonderful market that sold everything from modern art to old records of traditional music which I collect. I came home with a beautiful painting of the area. I also saw a wonderful antique chair, but unfortunately it was too big to bring back. Now, Argentina is famous for its dancing. Did you see any performances during your trip? I did, yes. It reminded me of when I used to attend dance classes. I enjoyed them, although I was never very good. I'm sure my teacher was pleased when I said I wasn't going to continue. But these dancers made it look so easy that at that moment I felt like joining in and dancing with them. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. And what else did you do? Well, I went to a small village on the coast. I took the bus there and got a room in a small hotel. The hotel owner was very friendly. He took me down the river in his boat. It was very beautiful. You could see the forest in the distance. Do you have a favourite place in Argentina? Definitely. It's a mountain near Buenos Aires. It's famous for its spectacular scenery. But when I went there, it was very misty and the sun was just rising. You couldn't see much. There were no birds or animals about. It was totally quiet and I loved that. I shall go back one day. We look forward to reading your book. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Now, listen to part one again. Today, I'm with Robin Marshall, who has just written a book about travelling in Argentina. Robin, tell us about yourself. Well, I've travelled to South America a lot for my work, and I know Argentina well now. So well that I could be a tour guide if I wanted. I speak fluent Spanish, so I don't need anyone to translate for me. My job involves travelling around selling products for my company. I meet a lot of people doing that, and I wanted to share those experiences with others, so I decided to try writing. So, tell us about your last visit to Argentina. What was the weather like? Well, it was winter there, so mornings were cold, but I'd expected that. Every day they said on the radio that it would be sunny later, and sure enough it was. I wanted to go sightseeing, and the weather was perfect for that. And where did you go when you went sightseeing? Well, I went to a wonderful market that sold everything from modern art to old records of traditional music which I collect. I came home with a beautiful painting of the area. I also saw a wonderful antique chair, but unfortunately it was too big to bring back. Now, Argentina is famous for its dancing. Did you see any performances during your trip? I did, yes. 
It reminded me of when I used to attend dance classes. I enjoyed them, although I was never very good. I'm sure my teacher was pleased when I said I wasn't going to continue. But these dancers made it look so easy that at that moment I felt like joining in and dancing with them. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. And what else did you do? Well, I went to a small village on the coast. I took the bus there and got a room in a small hotel. The hotel owner was very friendly. He took me down the river in his boat. It was very beautiful. You could see the forest in the distance. Do you have a favourite place in Argentina? Definitely. It's a mountain near Buenos Aires. It's famous for its spectacular scenery. But when I went there, it was very misty and the sun was just rising. You couldn't see much. There were no birds or animals about. It was totally quiet and I loved that. I shall go back one day. We look forward to reading your book. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. That is the end of part one. Part two. Questions from seven to fifteen. Listen to the recording. Complete the form below. Write no more than two words or numbers for each answer. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you'd have the time to take part in some market research. Um, what's it about? About this club and your experiences and opinions about being a member. It'll take less than five minutes. Oh, OK then, as long as it's quick. <laughs> Can I start by taking your name? It's Selina Thompson. Is that T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? Yes. Okay, great. Thanks. And what do you do for a living? Well, I'm an accountant, but I'm between jobs at the moment. I understand. But that's the job I'll put down on the form. And would you mind my asking which age group you fall into? Below 30, 31 to 50, and above? Over 50, <laughs> I think we can safely say. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. And which type of membership do you have? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean how long? Of... No, is it a single person membership? Oh, right, no, it's a family membership. <laughs> thanks. And how long have you been a member? Oh, let me see. Uh, I was certainly here five years ago, and it was probably... Two to three years more than that. Mm -hmm. Shall I put down eight? Oh, I remember now. It's nine, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I've got that. And the last question in this first part is, what brought you to the club? Uh, sorry? Uh, how did you find out about the club? Did you see any ads? Well, uh, I, I did, actually. But I have to say, I wasn't really attracted to the club because of that. It was through word of mouth. So you were recommended by a friend? <laughs> Actually, my doctor. Oh. I'd been suffering from high blood pressure, and he said the club was very supportive of people with that condition, so I signed up. Mm, great, thanks. Now, for the second part of the form, I want to ask a bit more about your experience of the club. Sure. Uh, how often would you say you use the club? Oh, it varies enormously, depending on how busy I am. Mm, of course. But on average, per month? I'd say it averages out at twice a week. OK, so eight on average. Yeah, and four of those are aqua aerobics classes. That leads me to the next question. Would you say the swimming pool is the facility you make most use of? Fair to say that, yep. Right, thanks. And are there any facilities you don't use? Hmm. One area I realise I've never used is the tennis courts. Mm. And there's one simple reason for that. You don't play tennis? <laughs> Actually, I'm not bad at it. Oh. It's that I'm not happy having to pay extra for that privilege. Oh, right. I've made a note of that. Thanks. Hmm. Now, in the last section, are there any suggestions or recommendations you have for improvements to the club? Uh, only about health and fitness? Mm, anything at all? Well, 
I'd like to see more social events. Oh. It isn't just a question of getting together for games or classes, but other things, you know. Yes, sure. And another thing that I was thinking when I had my yoga class in the gym last night, we were all sweltering in the heat. Was that I think they should put in, or well, you know, uh, air conditioning. Uh, that's exactly what I mean.、Mm. The rooms are really light and well designed, but they do need proper installation. Sure. Well, I've made a note of that. Good. So, is there anything else you'd like to suggest、uh, about quality of service, for example? Oh. Everyone's very nice here. They couldn't be more friendly and helpful. Oh, but I tell you what. It's a shame the restaurant isn't open in the evening on Saturday, and Sunday as well, for that matter.、Oh. So the club should、yeah, open it later on those days. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's <laughs> all the questions I have. Now. Listen to part two again. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you'd have the time to take part in some market research. Um, what's it about? About this club and your experiences and opinions about being a member. It'll take less than five minutes. Oh, okay then. As long as it's quick. <laughs> Can I start by taking your name? It's Selina Thompson. Is that? T H O M P S O N. Yes.、Okay. Great. Thanks. And what do you do for a living? Well, I'm an accountant, but I'm between jobs at the moment. I understand. But that's the job I'll put down on the form. And would you mind my asking which age group you fall into? Below thirty, thirty-one to fifty, and above. Over fifty, <laughs> I think we can safely say. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. And which type of membership do you have? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean how long? No, is it a single person membership? Oh right, no, it's a family membership. <laughs> thanks. And how long have you been a member? Ooh, let me see.、Uh, I was certainly here five years ago, and it was probably. Two to three years more than that.、Mm -hmm. Shall I put down eight? Oh, I remember now. It's nine, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I've got that. And the last question in this first part is: What brought you to the club?、Oh, sorry.、Uh, how did you find out about the club? Did you see any ads? Well,、uh, I, I did actually, but I have to say I wasn't really attracted to the club because of that. It was through word of mouth. So you were recommended by a friend? <laughs> Actually, my doctor.、Oh. I'd been suffering from high blood pressure, and he said the club was very supportive of people with that condition. So I signed up.、Mm, great, thanks. Now, for the second part of the form, I want to ask a bit more about your experience of the club. Sure.、Uh, how often would you say you use the club? <sighs> It varies enormously, depending on how busy I am.、Mm, of course, but on average, per month. I'd say it averages out at twice a week. Okay, so eight on average. Yeah, and four of those are aqua aerobics classes. That leads me to the next question. Would you say the swimming pool is the facility you make most use of? Fair to say that. Yep. Right. Thanks. And are there any facilities you don't use? Hmm. One area I realise I've never used is the tennis courts,、mm. and there's one simple reason for that. You don't play tennis. <laughs> Actually, I'm not bad at it.、Oh. It's that I'm not happy having to pay extra for that privilege. Ah,、oh, right. I've made a note of that. Thanks. Hmm. Now, in the last section, are there any suggestions or recommendations you have for improvements to the club?、Uh, only about health and fitness. Anything at all? Well, 
I'd like to see more social events. Oh. It isn't just a question of getting together for games or classes, but other things, you know. Yes, yeah, sure. And another thing that I was thinking when I had my yoga class in the gym last night, we were all sweltering in the heat. Was that I think they should put in, or well, you know, uh, air conditioning. Uh, that's exactly what I mean.、Mm. The rooms are really light and well designed, but they do need proper installation. Sure. Well, I've made a note of that. Good. So, is there anything else you'd like to suggest、uh, about quality of service, for example? Oh. Everyone's very nice here. They couldn't be more friendly and helpful. Oh, but I tell you what. It's a shame the restaurant isn't open in the evening on Saturday, and Sunday as well, for that matter.、Oh. So the club should、yeah, open it later on those days. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's <laughs> all the questions I have. That is the end of the listening section. Stop work on this section and do the other parts of the tests.